What's up, Pokemon fans? It's Pika Stacy here with an amiibo box opening. Um, if you don't know already, I'm only collecting the Pokemon amiibos. Um, today I picked up my pre order, which was Charizard. Let's see if we can get this focused. It looks about right. Alright, so with Charizard here, the first thing I said when the cashier gave him to me was holy crap, he is huge. Uh, that's what she said. Um, so the new line of Amiibos, um, they're actually $15.99. They're $2 more than what they previously were. Um, but the detail on Charizard is incredible. So here we see the front. Um, and of course, you know, uh, supercharge your gameplay, collect, customize, and compete. Uh, nothing unusual with, uh, with the art. For those of you who are just getting into Amiibos, the bottom of the Amiibo box actually um, is the reason why we have to open them. Um, so the bottom of the Amiibo box, you can't see it here, but right here there's a little film strip in it. Um, therefore, you can't scan it into the gamepad and play. So, enough of me talking. Let's begin and open him. I'm going to try to preserve the container the best I can. I'm actually just going to cut right here along the edges. I'm going to take them off camera just briefly. I find it incredibly difficult with my arms stressed out, stretched out like that. Just one second. So I've been looking for a Jigglypuff there, but Jigglypuff has yet to be found. Jigglypuff is a Walmart exclusive here in Canada. However, where's your table? Okay. However, um, so far I haven't seen them in any Walmarts, despite the uh, their inventory sta stating that there is uh, that there is stock. So unless all the employees have all the Jigglypuffs. Um, I won't be getting one for quite some time. Alright, I did do a, a bit of damage to the box, but I don't plan on re-selling him ever. Really sorry about the lighting. I do try to do this during the daytime, so you guys could uh, get a better appreciation. So what I've done, I've just cut in between the plastic and the cardboard. Um, this is the worst job I've ever done, but whatever. It's gonna open up the bottom. All right, so that's the film I was talking about. The reason why we can't just scan them from the inside of the box. Oh wow, he is incredible. Such a large amoeba. Wow. So let's. I really hope you guys can uh, appreciate this Charizard. I'm actually using a broken lens right now. A monkey broke it um, in no, September. Anyway, so here is Charizard. Um, the wingspan, the detail, the weight. He's actually quite heavy. Um, he's just incredible. So his tail is actually maybe three or four different colors of oranges and reds. It gives it a beautiful flame-like appearance um, like we often see in the anime right now. Um, wow. So he does have the stand here. Um, the stand is see-through. Um, some people are really bothered by the stand. I honestly couldn't care less. I would rather uh, the amiibo being able to stand upright without falling, then, you know, than not having to stand. Um, the only thing that's really bothering me with him is you can see the seams big time. You can see the seam on the tail. Uh, you probably can't see that. Um, you can see the seam where they attach the wings. And the biggest seam, in my opinion, is the jawline. But, whatever, I, I actually don't care all that much. Um, that's just one more Pokemon Amiibo added to my collection. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, hopefully I'll have Jigglypuff and Greninja pretty soon. But until then, um, have a good day.